हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड्स टुडे विल सी सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ अ थ्री स्टेज प्रॉब्लम दिस इज प्रोफेसर राजेश के बेहरा फैकल्टी फ्रॉम एपी शाह इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी whenever we observe some statements in the problem based on that we draw the diagram if statements comes like standing on hp it may be a base in that case axis is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp if a statement comes like resting on hp it can be of one point of base circle of cylinder or cone or it may be a corner of prism or pyramid or it can be one base edge of prism or pyramid resting on hp in that case this becomes an limitation for us we have to keep that particular part on xy and whatever the inclusion of x is given we have to go according to that in some statement they may give us that line on hp now one generator of either cone or cylinder may be lying on the hp or one slant edge of the triangular prism, uh, pyramid or rectangular pyramid whichever it is or a prism may be lying or a rectangular face of prism or a triangular face of pyramid is lying on hp so irrespective of different parameters the main line will be lying on hp if that particular signal is given then we draw like this one so in that case this particular region becomes a limitation for us so with this limitation we have to give an inclination to axis right these are all the three scenarios which we had seen about hp inclination with hp or position defined with respect to hp similar type of positions can be defined with respect to vp also so these are few cases in all the three the data is given with respect to vp similar to that of hp which just now we had discussed now we'll see few datas in what fashion they are given with respect to this constraint constraint means this particular area it can be a corner or it can be lying on this xy so whatever the limitations given right with respect to that how exactly are the different types of parameters are given to us datas are given to us they may give us that this axis is inclined right this axis is inclined in such a way that this particular area whatever it can be a point of the circle base circle of cone or a cylinder it can be a corner of a pyramid it can be a corner of a prism it can be base edge of a prism it can be base edge of a pyramid right so in whatever scenario this limitation has to be kept here and also we have to incline this axis so we know that this axis is always perpendicular to base edge with respect to this base right we have to draw an angle so we always go for whenever axis inclination is given we always go for base surface inclination and it is always 90 minus theta of the axis so this limit is also done sometimes the data is given of this particular line it this line can be the extreme generator of the cone or it can be extreme generator of a cylinder it can be a rectangular face of a prism it can be a triangular face of a pyramid it can be a slant edge of a pyramid it can be a longer edge of prism or pyramid right so this line is inclined this line is inclined with some value given to us it can be a edge or a face so whenever this inclination has to be drawn 
right again we'll use similar concept we'll always try to first find out where exactly we are getting a 90 degree line so with respect to this 90 degree line right we'll draw it in such a way that it passes through the limitation whatever the limitation or constraint is given to us now once we get this type of line we'll always first try to draw this particular line with 90 minus this angle given to us once we draw this line then at a 90 degree angle we can draw this line on which we can locate these points of the front view sometimes data will be given in such a way that the apex is tilted in such a way that it has a height one particular height is given with respect to x y so in that case first we will draw a horizontal line parallel to x y with the given height and then we will go for this tiltation with respect to this constraint sometimes they give the height in such a way that this is inclined see this is the limitation in which we draw sometimes this line is inclined sorry it is the uh, height is given of the opposite corner or opposite point with respect to this one right in that case we first draw a line construction line parallel to xy line and we fix up with respect to whatever the height is given and then we draw problem is always solved in three stages right and in numerical problems you will always see they are giving two data and those data are always with respect to hp and vp depending upon this data we have to decide what should be the first stage so definitely mm -hmm. We have to find out reading those statements what should be the first stage. See, problem I had categorized problem always of two types data related to HP and VP. If I take care of data of HP in second stage, then I will have to take care of VP in third stage. It is a by default value. If I take care of data of VP in second stage, then I will have to take care of HP data in third stage, right? So how exactly my first stage belongs now? Here, yeah, this is a big question. If in I take HP as the first stage, right? If I satisfy a condition with respect to HP, then by default, my second stage will also be with respect to HP and third stage will be of VP. If I take care of data related to VP, if I satisfy the condition with respect to VP in first stage, by default in second stage, I will have to take care of VP data and then the HP data. This data are always given in the problem. And after reading the problem, we have to decide what should be the first stage. If I make a mistake here and if I by default, if I are uh, not by default, if I make a mistake and if I satisfy the condition with respect to VP, then automatically the second stage will be of VP. So my problem goes wrong in that direction because it could have been a case where I would have to go for HP condition first, right? So deciding first stage is a very basic and important criteria while solving the problem of three stage of projection of solids. So what we generally do? We first start with these things. We are not directly drawing. This is a thought process. Assuming solid standing on the plane with which it is making an inclination, right? I'm taking a case of first problem type. With respect to that, we'll discuss now. I'm assuming a solid standing on the plane with which it is making an inclination. If it is inclined to HP, I'm assuming it to be standing on HP. If it's standing on HP, then its top view will be a true shape of the base. If that particular object is cone, then the base of the cone will come in top view. If the object is of pyramid, then the true shape of the base of that pyramid will be seen in top view. So here I am satisfying the condition of HP while drawing in top view because I'm keeping that particular base on that particular plane that is on HP right so I will draw front view and top view of that solids in standing position in stage number one please again 
take care of this thought process. Important part of the object is kept on the right hand side. Always whichever part has been defined in the problem, that problem, that particular part of the object becomes a very important part and it has to be taken on right hand side. It is not a rule but it is a general procedure. Generally most of the people are following this one. <coughs> Sorry. Except in suspended object. Whenever we solve this problem of suspended, that time we will take care of this particular concept again. So if the if I go for the second variety of the problem, right? Then if it is inclined to VP, then I am assuming it all standing on VP. Accordingly, if standing on VP, then front view will be the true shape of its base. For cone and pyramid, it will be a circle or a true shape of this polygon. Or for top, surface will be for cylinder and prism. So, in both the case, if you see, <coughs> sorry, important part of the object is very important. If I know what is the important part of the object and accordingly, if I will keep it on the right hand side, then it can be for VP also, it can be for HP in the first stage. I will have to take care of the previous slide which I have seen just now. If that important part of the object is resting on HP they had said, then definitely I will have to satisfy the condition of HP. If that particular important part of the object is resting in VP, then the first stage becomes of VP. So in short, we generally say the two variety of the problems is HP, HP, VP or VP, VP, HP. So important part of the object becomes very critical, right? We have to identify after reading the problem, what is the important part of the object and accordingly we have to decide. In step number two, we will always consider the inclination. Inclination with respect to the two angles given to us. It may be with respect to HP or it may be with respect to VP. If in the first stage we are taking care of HP, the second stage we have to define with respect to HP only. Generally, in stage number two, we always redraw one diagram from stage number one. Then step number three, that is the last step, we take care of the last angle that is with respect to either HP or VP, whatever it is given. So if we are taking care of HP in the first stage, second stage, we have to take the angle of HP. Third stage, it will be angle with respect to VP. Again, here in the step number three, if you see, we always take one redraw of the view from stage number two. See here, one case I had taken here where inclination of VP is being taken care, right? Inclination of VP is being taken care. If you take here this case, here this is that case. I had satisfied the condition of VP in the third case, third stage. Here also the same, right? These are problem number type 1. For problem number 2 or type 2, here I taken care in the third stage of HP condition. Here also HP condition. So these two particular blocks which are on the right hand side falls in type 2 and these first two blocks fall in type 1. Now see in second stage they should satisfy the condition of HP these two blocks. So see here they are following those particular pattern they are taking care of HP condition in second stage right and in first stage we will take care of this HP now so here HP HP and VP is been taken care here also HP HP and VP here it is VP VP and HP here VP VP and HP this I am talking about all the condition which we are satisfying okay this will be the steps which we will start drawing, right? We will first draw these conditions, then we will draw the second stage. See here, this particular triangle has been redrawn here. This particular cylinder is again redrawn here. This particular triangle is again redrawn here. 
this again rectangle has been redrawn here and then the third stage will get the final view right thanks for watching please subscribe my channel to get the updates thank you so much